And so here we are, house number two. A little bit further down the pike. It's in a wonderful neighborhood called Claremont, which I believe you are we somewhat are familiar with. We are a little familiar with Just it. Just a little bit. Because WETA. Is right around the corner. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can walk there. It's a community that, frankly, people don't move in very, they don't have many houses come on the market here. Has this been renovated recently? I think that these folks renovated it and lived in it for many years. It's not something that was just flipped. It was something that they did that they loved. It's a really wonderful, again, comfortable, happy community where people wave at each other and say hello. Yes, we try to do that. Well, I will see you a little later. Have fun. OK. OK. Thank you. Okay. You too. All right. This home looks like it has been completely renovated. All right, so which way should we start? Oh, definitely here. I'm with you. When I saw that cute roof line, I wanted to see what this room looked like. Well, you're drawn to this room because of all the great oh, lights. Oh, it's so lovely. Yeah. I've walked into a country cottage. <laughs> it does feel a little cottagey there. So this was an addition to the original house, you can tell, with all these eaves and all the nice little windows up top. The windows are darling. This was a good start to this house. OK, into the dining room. Dining room. So uh, this would have been the original part of the home. Yes, before that extension. Mm -hmm. All right, here we have a den. Or, well, right now they're using it as an office space. But I'm wondering if this is actually a bedroom. Take a peek and see if that's in the bathroom. Let's see here. Well, it's a full bathroom. Oh, so this could be a bedroom. And it's perfect for an elderly person. Uh, to make this their, you know, main living space well, bedroom. You know, I always think it's so great just to have a bedroom with a full bath on the first level. Oh, yeah. Into the kitchen. OK. Um, it was definitely refreshed in this room. Right. And it's a galley kitchen, but it's a big galley kitchen. Now, this is really something I think is super convenient, to have a drawer under the stovetop. Great for pots and pans, and mm -hmm. you can get them in two seconds. I love that. Now, here's something. You know, there's that old saying, it's about form and function. This definitely has great form. But as far as function, I would be chipping so many glasses. Well, the question is, why Why even do dishes then? I mean, yeah, I that, 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 that would solve time. all your problems. Wait, wait. <laughs> what do you say we head downstairs? Into. All right. Lower level. So this is a really great space. OK. So yeah. you have a full bath, great space, you know, these fun little corners. Mm -hmm. And you have an egress. An egress window, yeah. So that means this could be a bedroom, so, a legal bedroom. A legal bedroom, yes. Yeah. All right. OK, upper floor. So full bath. I like the beadboard. Yeah, nice little space, but boy, they fit everything in. And let's head back here. This looks like the primary right. bedroom suite. Right, so this would be bad. No. Washer and dryer, which is nice I, to have on an upper right. level. But I thought for sure that was going to be a full bath. Oh, a nice seat. sitting area. Very nice. OK. And the bedroom. You know, it still carries that nice architectural roof line. Sure does. Mm -hmm. And it has a closet. Take oh, a look at that. You said it has a closet. Uh, yes, it has a closet. So it doesn't have a bathroom, you know, en suite, but there is one right outside the door. Oh, true. So that's just fine. To the right. OK. What's this little baby? Wait, look here. Aww. Oh, my gosh. OK, this is a little bedroom. I mean, look, these old homes had smaller bedrooms. It's true. It's, it's part true. of the original yeah, I mean, floor plan. Realistically, you could put a twin in here. Sure, you could put a twin put in, in there. A nice little guest room. Yeah. And bedroom number three up here, another Ooh. cozy little room. It's, it's just kind of charming. Yeah, but you have all that great shade, too, out the back. Where's Judy? Let's go find her. <laughs> all right, hey. welcome back. Look at this beautiful backyard. Isn't this pretty? Yeah. It's it seems really it goes pretty. on. Yeah, really I mean, it's got pretty. everything. Yeah. It's got hardscapes. It's got a raised, you know, deck. And look how charming this addition looks from back here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the whole thing is dynamite. They did a nice job with the peak in the front and the back. They did. Yeah. We, OK, bedrooms. <laughs> we just have some questions. <laughs> OK. Downstairs is just a rec area. Mm -hmm. Is that what they're considering, just a living room rec it area? It was not listed as a bedroom. You know, we see that a lot, where you might have a closet, you might have a window mm -hmm. that, you know, serves the egress requirement to get yes. in and out mm -hmm. in case there's a fire. Yes. But it's still 
a rec room or a family room is what people typically characterize it as, as opposed to a bedroom. All right, we have four bedrooms. We yep. have three full baths. Yep. Built in 1948. It's 1,800 square feet above grade and yes. 464 in the lower level, the okay. basement. I'm going to give you a very clean number in a box, <laughs> and it looks like a one with lots of zeros. I'm going to say $1 million on wow. the Wow, OK. Oh, that's interesting, because you don't usually like do that. You're... Oh, wait. Well, and 99 cents. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. There we go. There we go. Yeah, $1 million. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. I'm going to come in at a listing price of 940000 Okay. Okay. So the actual listing price is $949,000. Oh, wow. You are so close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Well, you see, I, I, really, really close. I really like this home. I felt a special yeah. connection it's to a, the yeah. house.